Shuge Knight says he has no hard feelings about his ex-protege, Snoop Dogg, swooping in to buy Death Row Records the label he CO founded but he's skeptical about the legality of that transaction. The incarcerated ex-music mogul tells TMZ Hip Hop, personally, he doesn't feel like it's really Death Row without his name attached. That being said, Shuge's also floating a theory that his ex-business partner Michael Harry O'Harris committed bankruptcy fraud to get the company out from under Shuge. Speaking to us from the CA State Penitentiary where he's doing 28 years for voluntary manslaughter Shuge claims the label was only forfeited after a lawyer failed to attend court. So, he lost it in a 2013 default judgment to MNRK Music Group. He considers the whole bankruptcy proceeding which screwed almost all of Death Row's artists a sham and, in his eyes, a direct violation of the law. One problem with his theory is Snoop had nothing to do with the bankruptcy case, and only purchased Death Row from MNRK in 2022, and Harry O had no involvement, at least publicly, in that transaction. Per his upcoming TV series on BLK Prime, Shuge says all truths will be revealed from his lens, and also shared his favorite releases from the label, with the murder was the case soundtrack ranking exceptionally high in his book. After seeing the 1994 film Natural Born Killers, Shuge says he was approached by the studio to contribute a song but had to relinquish creative control. To counter, he framed a non-existent movie around Snoop and recruited the likes of DRDRE, Ice Cube, and DJ Quick for the Bangin' soundtrack.